Hey, what's up, guys? Jose here at ShreddedDab.com. In today's video, I'm going to give you a review of the biggest piece of equipment inside my garage gym, and that's the PRX Performance Pro Rack right here. Now, this is a wall-mounted folding rack, which means I can fold it up against the wall, and it only takes about four inches of intrusion, so very little space taken out. And then even when I fold it out, when it's folded out, it only takes about 22 inches of space. So you can have a small room and still have one of these in your garage gym. Now, one thing about this, this uh, rack is that it folds up in this direction, up and down, okay? So it makes it very easy to put away or bring down before or after your workout, okay? You just have to fold it up, fold it down, and you're done. Other racks that I've seen, they fold in this direction, kind of like doors do, and that takes a little bit more time because you have to disassemble the pull-up bar, and then you have two pins on top and two pins on the bottom that are gonna allow you to move in this direction. So this one is just a little bit faster, and in my opinion, it's probably one of the best ones out there. Now, this one in particular, this is the pro version. It's a three by three rack made of 11 gauge steel and holds over a thousand pounds. The uprights come in two different sizes. The one that I have here is seven feet, six inches tall. So for that one, you're gonna need a ceiling that's eight feet, 11 inches tall. They also sell another version that's eight feet tall. And for that one, you're gonna need a ceiling that's nine feet, five inches tall. Now, if your ceilings aren't that high, there is a way to work around that. And I'm gonna show you that pretty soon. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to fold this down and to fold it back up. Now as you can see, it's suspended in the air completely over here. And over here on the side, we have a hitch pin and this locks it into place. So all you have to do to bring this down is to remove the hitch pin. I'm going to set it here for now. And all I have to do now is just pull it down in this direction. Okay, that's all there's to it. Very simple nothing too heavy and you have gas shocks that assist you on the way down and also on the way up when I pull it back up the gas shocks are going to make sure that they help me on the way up so this is how it looks when I pull it up okay then it stays in place and I go ahead and once again use the hitch pin to lock it make sure this doesn't fall down it's just that simple I'm starting at the very bottom and then I'm gonna work my way up and this way you get every single detail about this rack. Now right at the bottom here we have a plastic foot plate. Now the whole reason that's there is to protect your floor. So when you fold this down, you don't want the metal to be touching your floor because it's gonna mess it up or scratch it. So we have plastic foot plates on both sides right here and that's just there for protection. Now right next to that right here, you have a 120 pound gas shock and you have four of these. You have one at the bottom on each side and then one at the top. So two at the top, two at the bottom. And the whole reason that they are there is to assist you on pulling this out and also when you're folding it back up because these uprights are heavy. Okay, right on top of the gas shock here, you have what's called a hitch pin. The hitch pin is gonna lock it in place and you only get one of these, you only need one. And it's gonna prevent it from falling down accidentally. So if I pull on this, this won't let me because it's locked in place. So I'm gonna pull this out, it's just a hitch pin. At the end of the hitch pin, you have a little clip like this so it locks it in place securely. Now I'm gonna fold this down so you can see how easy it is to, to fold this down even on my knees. You just pull it off the wall and then it comes down smoothly. It doesn't crash down because the gas shocks over here are helping you out. Now you have a linkage arm here on each side and you have two on the bottom and two on the top. The linkage arm is perpendicular or parallel to the, to the floor and right next to it, connecting to it, you have a bracket. Now everything here comes with all the hardware, okay? The only thing you're going to need that I wasn't aware of when I first got this is one of these right here. This is a 1516 socket and wrench. You're going to need the 1516 socket because it's the only one that's going to fit one of this, the, one of the bolts right here, okay? So when I first got it, I started putting it together. I was excited and then I didn't have this monster right here. So I had to stop, go to the hardware store, get it, and then come back and finish it off. So I'm letting you know right now, 1516 socket and wrench is what you need in order to get this project completed. Now earlier I talked about not having a ceiling height that's at least 8 feet 11 inches and the way to work around that so that when you fold it up you don't hit the ceiling is to adjust the linkage arm right here and the bracket. So right now this is parallel to the floor. If your ceiling is not that high what you have to do is angle this linkage arm down in this direction. Okay so by you angling this down now you have a starting point that's lower so when you fold it up it won't go up as high. So that's the way to do it and also uh, PRX has good customer service that you can call and they'll walk you through the whole process. So we're in the middle of the rack now. It comes with two J-hooks. 
you look just like this, okay? And the J-hooks have a protective covering, not only where you place the bar, but also where this attaches to the rack itself so it doesn't scratch it. Now you get two of these, and in the middle you can see that we have holes here with laser cut numbers. Now this is only available for the pro version, of course. And then also with the pro version, you get to choose from seven different powder coated colors. So that's just the middle section. There's not much here, just different holes with different numbers and then we're gonna work our way up to the top. So we made it to the top. Over here we have two different types of pull-up bars. We have a regular pull-up bar right here in between the uprights and then over here on top of me we have a kipping pull-up bar. Okay, now the, this one extends three feet off the wall so that you have enough room to do any kipping pull-ups or anything like toaster bar where you may be hitting the wall but this gives you enough space so that you don't have that problem. Now over here on the side we see another linkage arm, we see another gas shock and over here on the back we have the bracket as well. And this over here, both pull-up bars have very good grip so that you don't slip whenever you're doing the exercises. As far as accessories go, the racks are compatible with many different attachments. You can see three that I own here. I have a dip bar here, I have a spotter arm here, and then I have an attachment down here for my battle ropes. Now it's up to you, whatever you want to use, but these are very compatible with many types of equipment. So there you have it guys, that's my review of the PRX Pro Rack. I've owned it for almost a year now and I work out three to four times a week. So I put it to the test and it's still as sturdy as the first time I put it together. I also like the fact that I don't have to sacrifice my parking space in order to have a garage gym. I can just fold this up against the wall, park my car in here and have the best of both worlds. If you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also leave me your comments and questions down below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can get more information about the PRX. That link is shredaddad.com slash PRX. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.